Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories, lifestyle gist, celebrated gossip, showbiz and so much more. If it's not on Tea Time, then it's not big enough. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got my very interesting and amazing co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Benny Ak. Hello, we get interesting and amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a good day. And being nice because of the situation of the country. We I need, need it, to, we need some know. niceness for yeah. sure. It seems he's not working on Benny, he's, he seems <laughs> lost. <laughs> I need some sleep. You Aww. get it soon. You get it soon. It's it, mm. it may be a You're not coughing, coffee. though. No, I'm not coughing. You're breathing nicely, right? N nice and easy. You can baby. hold your breath for 10 seconds. I can, can I do it for 20 seconds? Oh, okay. <laughs> do you want to go? Yeah, I want to go. Mm -hmm. 20 seconds. Mm. Look at your time. One, Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're about to touch Corona. <laughs> Okay, okay, it's fine. We know yeah, you we can get, do it. So you're good, you're we good. We get you're it. You're good. <laughs> Thank you. So, Hilda Dokubo calls on pastors with supernatural powers to step in. Um, this is how she said it. Can all the pastors who are convinced that they have supernatural powers to heal go to the hospital and lay hands on those infected so this virus can go back to where it, can, it came from and it um, can return, or we can return to our normal lives. <laughs> Why are you I laughing just, now? I just love it. Hold on this comment, man. Where is that corrosive anointing pastor? She, take him, she, <laughs> he should, be the first, yeah, right? should be the first to be mm. thrown into the den. We've well, even forgotten Unless, a certain man, the man who said he was actually oh going God. to China. Have you forgotten oh, that yes. video? There was a particular pastor who said he was going there to heal them. Now. Some of these guys are just comedians on the stage, man. They're jokers. Like, they should be in the circus. You know, they, mm -hmm. they miss their calling. They should mm -hmm. be in the circus or something. I mean, are you kidding me? Um, corrosive anointing for Corona and well, Tony was making a whole lot of sense that way. I don't think that works, though. I, I think even some of these pastors don't understand it because there are some events that are just unchangeable. No, but there's some who so, just feel, you know, they are miracle workers. <sighs> At every time they appear, a miracle must happen as if, you know, okay. they, they have the, Bible the teaches, formula. Isn't it? Like, if you, you know, have the smallest faith, you can move the biggest mountains. Mountain. Mm. Okay, well, here is Corona with us and we're, we're one of the most religious black nations in the world. So what is it doing here? Mm. All the prayers on Sunday they days, they it's still didn't scared well. away. The Christians mm. are saying they didn't pray that if they had prayed well enough, you know. Ghana has declared the day of prayer, though, when I say tomorrow. Prayer yeah. and fasting. Yeah, How are you going to be fasting. praying from your house, though? Yeah, I hope oh, so. Or they're meeting they're up in the square together. Mm. to get out joining of hands and... They can join in spirits. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not going to negate the place of prayer in one's life, right? And it depends on what you call prayer. Not that mm. necessary rumble and shouting people do. I mean, no, I mean, prayer is pretty much necessary. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think we should try to, to put things in proper perspective. This, this is a strain. This is a virus. Um, do I say miracles don't happen? Yes, it does. But if prayer could change things the way they claim, then Nigeria should be one of the greatest nations of the world today because we pray every Sunday, it's Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays in this part of the world. But we pray we we're, still, <laughs> we're still, we're still worse <laughs> for it. And so who are they fooling? You know? So here Dr. Kubo is right. So if you feel you have the wonder working power, miracle power, Let's, let them take it to where lay the center. Lay some hands. Go lay some hands on these people. They're, they're locked up somewhere. And if it doesn't somewhere. work out, then it's the faith of the Of the sick it's people, a, It's not a perfect you. design. Yeah. I mean, I always say that the God that I know I see right now is definitely a design where he can never be wrong. And there's always all these loopholes for him. Yeah. If anything good happens, that's that's the mercy of God. And I'm so grateful. And then if it doesn't happen, oh, it's your problem. It's your fault. And you your, mean, your well, I mean, I'm hearing some, some Christians say that this is actually willed by God. At this coronavirus because there's nothing that can happen that can happen and take god by surprise so he allowed it to happen therefore he willed it to happen all that, all that, that, type that of that's, it confuses me you, well, you get let's not make this conversation about yeah. christianity yeah. though um i understand where this lady is coming from and it's no, good, but it's she, good she for was viewers. particular. She did, she did say pastors so yeah that's then, what i'm saying it's yeah. good for viewers um or congregations to also understand the sarcasm in her message and on the understand that there is a limit on for, as, as much as you don't want to believe that there's a limit to where the spiritual space can um, function and there's some places where you just need to um, heed to the advice of your your doctors and simply go science the, yeah the, the scientists the, the physical experts. things i mean even the bible will tell you that you don't understand how the spiritual realm works and that's why there's a lot of guessing games going on so for this i don't think it's your first your first thing should be about praying or fasting or going to church i think the first thing we need to do is the physical, which is to wash your hands, cover your mouth when you and cough. Isolate yourself. Isolate yourself, stay at home. And then if you want to use 
faith to, you know, um, calm mountains. your soul and, and hope for the best and all that stuff. But we know for a fact that if you pray from now to tomorrow and still come in contact with someone that has coronavirus, I know this is funny to me. <laughs> 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 um, That's so why it's a faith without it works will, is dead. It exactly. will catch you. Yeah. <laughs> so let's, just, let's be guided. Coro <laughs> will catch you. <laughs> okay, so still on the coronavirus update, Eniola Badmo, Eniola Badmos reacts after getting dragged for not isolating herself after a trip to the United Kingdom. You know, that's one of the... Um, See her response. Yeah. Yes, I just returned from London and I am fine. I have been indoors since my return and I had to drive in my own car just to visit a dear friend and return home. And this dear friend in question is Funke Akindili, which course. is where we have a problem. Of course, a mm -hmm. big, a serious problem. Th there's no moral justification for what um, Anila Batman's did. Right? Mm. The UK is one of those high, high risk um, um, coronavirus um, um, countries that right now they can't even come into Nigeria. And you came back... I mean, for Christ's sake, some people didn't even leave. They just started telling the AMBCAs they're self isolating right now. What, mm -hmm. what gave you the right to feel you could just because you're driving your own personal car it's and then you could go visit been, she another has not friend? Been you don't herself. do it. She has not been following you know, the news. It simply means yeah. you're not thinking about other people because you go visit your friend. Your friend definitely will go vis visit other people. And this is a and friend who partnered with around. a brand in Nigeria yeah. to teach people. You know when I said and I, uh, this morning, um, when I said that um, being a celebrity does not mean that you're an intellectual, mm -hmm. I was actually thinking of this story as well. It was also running right. through my head. Cause no, I think you great, partner great. to tell people what to do, and you couldn't tell your friend what to do or how to be. What was don't it come she visit came me. to your house to do that she could not do via the telephone? Except she's smuggling some hard currencies for you, right? I don't know, but the perfume or the shoes from where? I mean, that you couldn't that wait, wait. You couldn't wait mm -hmm. for. You know, and so it just lets you know how irresponsible some of these so-called celebrities can be. You don't, you don't do that for any reason. She people, to visit their people, are, people are scared I, right I wish now, that she did you know? not respond. To be honest, I'm. Mean, it's it's human to make a mistake Social or not value. Um, you know the seriousness of this thing. Or think like Naramali. Yeah. <laughs> It's very understandable. Isn't that you, Mama? Why did you do that? <laughs> um, but the fact that she came on to Twitter to then make this Try really to contradictory, um, ignorant tweet. First of all, you being fine doesn't mean that you're fine. Mm -hmm. um, you not having did any you symptoms doesn't fine. mean he exactly. doesn't have symptoms. So, and then you returning and you wanted to go see a dear friend is just as 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 stupid as you not responding. Like, we are telling you that the problem is to go visit a dear friend. We don't care that the friend is dead. People have lost millions by sitting at home. You didn't actually... Visiting a dear friend is not, not even... It's not even on the top three things of, of a list of things that we'll say is a like a, an emergency or a requirement. People have booked halls and paid money mm -hmm. and to do important things, um, and they've had to cancel. So it's it's a it's a height of irresponsibility. And like you said, her involving um, somebody that is the forefront of it just makes us even understand how much of a joke this is. I know the story is going to come up soon. No, how much of a joke they are. That to to um, uh, how much of a drug this thing is is, it, is to a lot of people, but we're going to go to that story where I feel like that's why we need the government to co really step in and start to put us in place. If they need to yeah. flog us, like they're flogging us, oh, in, flogging they, they them in Zimbabwe, on Sunday, I mean, then I'm I'm all for that. Even me, I need one one stroke on my hand because I keep touching my face. See, I mean, <laughs> look, look at me, I'm not even I'm not even left my house. I mean, I've been self quarantining and also, I mean. Using everything I need to use. Yeah, if, you know, if, yeah, this is your if house. will never allow me to touch her, and then you mm -hmm. went to the UK and you came back and a whole went, UK. I mean, and decided to go visit a friend. I have many <laughs> friends that have been back from the nah. UK, and their parents are doing this thing where, like, the first room in the house is where they've put them in. As soon as they enter the house, they're going in there, and they've been there. The person, I don't know, it's, it's, it's privilege. I can help you to keep that kind of lifestyle. Yeah. Some people are sharing one squat place but they bring food to the and they pass it through a plastic <laughs> chair and like it's serious stuff That's coming serious back from jan is not fun, fun. Man. No. like it's not cool do what anymore. you have to do yeah okay i hope she, um she, they are listening because um people have been on and on about this and i don't even see how anybody can defend this especially for the kind of people involved and i just hope that any other bad boss can actually go back to read on this situation because she she came from a place of total ignorance for you to say you are feeling fine it means you are not even listening to what we are saying yeah. in the first place did you, you know, want a test to confirm yeah, your yeah you know, so positive. she needs to educate herself and not just occupy space hmm. it's time for a quick break wow. but when we return <laughs> there will be more to discuss 
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. I still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. I music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Beverly Nanya reacts to stay at home advice to Nigerians over coronavirus. Um, this came after Director of Public Policy Initiative at Shehu Musa Yadua Foundation, Amara Mwankba, advised the federal government to declare work free days and encourage stay at home. Beverly responded saying, who will support the low income earners while at home? How can they possibly be convinced that staying at home could save their lives when hunger and poverty give them stress on a daily basis? They would definitely be needing financial assistance. I hope um, the federal government realizes this. The sooner we realize that living in La La Land is not what will protect us, the better for everyone. Everyone needs to be on their toes so people can take their this pandemic seriously. The more information we have, the better prepared we will be to protect ourselves and loved ones. A sweetheart, I mean, Beverly Naya, I like her so much. Um, valid point she's made, right? And I think she's it's high a time. Deep, sexy queen. Yeah, I, I think uh, she's, a, she, she's a Nubian. I, I think it's, it's high time that the government <laughs> begins to. <laughs> She begins to think about intervention funds, <laughs> you know, to make to make uh -uh. intervention funds available to to people. It's, we should start thinking about it, you know. And I, I shared our sentiments, but again, this is it. Um, before that is done, there's need. There's nothing wrong with what the other the stay at home order that many companies and governments are giving right now. It is needed at this point in time. That's how serious this pandemic is, you know. And people should be made to see the need to actually, indeed, practice social distancing while we are hoping that some companies, the federal government will bring in intervention funds to help those who, at this point in time, will not be working and might not be getting money to help sustain themselves to get food and put food on their table. We cannot but just keep to what the WHO has asked us to do. Mm. Let's stay home as much as we can. Let's, let's, let's practice um, safe distancing, social distancing, just to make sure we don't be part of the reason why this virus will keep spreading and affecting innocent people. Uh, I think one of, the, one of the things I've noticed about coronavirus is that and maybe, maybe it's not the direct cause, but one of the things it carries out is that it reveals the, the flaws of the place to begin with. Um, you notice in, in Italy, for example, they've always struggled with um, declining population with of young people. I remember they had that visa last year that they'll pay you to come to their country yeah. called the Molise visa. Um, and it shows that and that's why one of the reasons why the rate is so high. I think here it's going to show the level of corruption and how... And poverty. And, and, and not, not even just poverty, the neglect of the federal government to the people. Yeah. Everywhere has poverty. It isn't just about poverty. I don't think you can ever get rid of that. I think it's the fact that we are very disorganized and have no system. And for you to tackle the invisible enemy that has come to visit us, you have to have a system. There's no other way to be able to treat it because if you say that we are we are having a pandemic as from the morning show to now there's two more cases the and that's why we're always going to yeah. keep going because of the nature of the thing so it's not it's not a it's not an ikb like they say it's it's gonna it's gonna happen it's not so, a curse yeah <laughs> so it's it's one of those things where like if you don't have that system where you can support the um, people staying at home they, there's going to be a serious problem yeah. um and what we will start to see is that we, if you're asking people who live mouth to mouth which is quite a high percentage in this part of the world um they'll start you start to see crime rates go up as well because if you're asking them not to eat 
um, and you're not providing anything for them. Because even if the they government will, wants to provide, steal. we don't have everybody's address. We don't. I remember no when they data. Did, there, no, there's, there's no, nothing. Whole, there's a whole lot of this will expose about our, our country called Nigeria. Yeah, so I'm you hoping know, that that so, miracle happens. Um, yeah. See why we like, fall back to miracle yeah. at the end of the day? Because yeah. if you don't have a working system, no infrastructure, you imagine nothing, something. Yeah. You just hope that God does some miracle, and we hope He does this time around. Because I, I don't know how this is going to hmm. work. I don't even know how stay at home it's is going, going to, to help, work. Because yeah. there are people, like you said, who whatever they get today is what they're going to use to feed today, they and leave, the they same. You know, it goes That's on like that. So how are people going to survive? Our government is not going to Even if they give, give us the money. Five, how are they going to get it to every single person it's that five. actually needs it? That's what I was hearing. That they're, they're contemplating. Um, I think it's two weeks. Okay. Huh? I think it's two weeks. Okay. That, 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 that would go a long way for a, long a lot way. of people. A long but way. Do if they have, eating, do they have the system can, to make that happen? And that's what I'm saying. Like, how do you even get it to every person that needs it? The two censuses that I've experienced in my lifetime, I was I, my family was never counted. Hmm. And so I'm even, sharing, I even have a you house. Say you won't have. <laughs> <laughs> I even have a house with a with the house number. We're not talking about like on um, the you know the on settle the settlements that we have, the shacks. We're not talking about any of those people. Who are the, who are the people that actually need? Um, the support. So it's scary stuff that Naya, um, Naya, Beverly Naya is talking about. The only thing I don't really like about this talking is that it's just talking. And I've said it before many times that I'm tired of talking. I don't think talking about this on on, on this table to this audience is going to be helpful in any way. This yeah, is but, one of those but, problems yeah. that we don't need awareness. We need action. Because this, the people being aware of the problem doesn't help anything or doesn't change anything. The problem starts from top and we don't know how we can get the right people, if we even have the right people, to do the necessary things to create change. Because as we are talking, time is not on our side. Yeah, but unfortunately, all the people have right now is to keep having the conversations because it seems like the people at the top, they're so desensitized to what the plights of the people are. You know, what do you say for a country that doesn't have any social welfare for its whole people? Can you see the kind of I laws mean, or bills they are proposing? You, then know, you, know, you know they're not problem, thinking about you at all. They're mm. not, you, you don't come close to what their are They're concerns not in touch are. with the reality. You know, no, and so it, it's Talking just... about generators. <laughs> really? Okay. It's rather sad, you know, and everybody just got to do what they have to do to keep themselves safe and healthy as much as they can. And as it stands right now, I'm just hoping it doesn't go beyond I, I this. I hope so. I really do. Because I don't think we have the, the structure, the system in place to, to, to take care of this if it goes beyond what it is right now. Mm. Okay, so let's move right on to a hot, hot topic for this episode, which is on Idris Elba's wife situation. Um, we discussed it, I think, yesterday on the show, but this time around, we are looking at the conversation as it has progressed on social media. So a lot of people um, are calling her stupid, I'm sorry, but that's what they say, for her actions and um, for her staying with him while um, he, she already knew he had the um, virus and not trying to isolate herself. While other people are saying that there was nothing she could do. I mean, before he even tested positive, they were already together as husband and wife. So even if she began to isolate herself at that point, there is a high possibility that she already had the virus at that time. And also, some are saying that it is love. So even if she um, was very sure that she was negative at the time, she was nobody was expecting her to just up and say, you know what, my husband, stay over there. But yeah. It would be a different ball game if they've got children, but this is just to put of them, right? So, what do you think, Benny? You know, I think this is pretty dicey for her uh, because whichever way you try to look at it, Idris, I, I think Idris would be responsible enough to say maybe I'm thinking Idris would suggest that you know you can you can stay away if you want to, but it's it's pretty dicey because there's somebody who's your partner, you know, and um, there are no symptoms and all the, the results say he's positive. And so it would be easy for me to just sit down here and say, ah, oh, she should have left him and go somewhere else after all. I mean, hey, give him time and see if he's going to get better and it would declare negative. But it, it doesn't happen that easily. And by, by virtue of that, by association, but definitely they're maybe on the same bed, they sleep on the same bed, they're in each other's face. It, it, was, it was inevitable. It, it was inevitable. So mm -hmm. I'm just hoping the sprain does not degenerate within them. I mean, where they be, now they begin to have symptoms and it goes out of no, control. No, I think they will survive together. That's it. So mm. um, people can say what they want to say. It doesn't come that easy. And if the, you it, were in her shoes, yes. what would you do? If I was in her shoes or in Idris's shoes. In her, her shoes. shoes. To be honest, mm -hmm. I'll do what she did. Okay. Mm. Well, in, in Idris' shoes. I'll, I'll ask her to stay away. 
Go, mm -hmm. go, to, go to your mom's or just, just we'll, we'll communicate. Just, mm -hmm. you need to be safe. So I think there's a lot of other you know, things I would put into consideration. Um, if I have an underlying issue, like for example, I'm asthmatic, so this period is quite scary for us. I already have long issues. I will run away yeah. real quick, as soon as possible. And I expect um, that that partner would support that running. That, yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. I will. Um, I think there is something um, a, a little detrimental in the thinking that for you to show love, you must endanger yourself. Your um, I mean, it's not something that I want to sit naturally with but I do understand that we're asking everyone to isolate themselves and you want to be together I'm away from my fiance and I know that if they're giving me the opportunity to go to Australia where there's a, like 300 people with coronavirus whatever even though he has not been cont I'm still exposing myself on a high level I probably would take that risk and try and be careful and stuff but it's very different yeah. when you have an immediate threat like he has the virus and the one thing you want to do is put your self on the line it's um i don't know her mindset and i can't speak for her and i don't know if there's any underlining issues under there like is this a woman thing of like suffer for that i don't know what is underlining in there but if it's just for that, love you know, and that's why the conversation I, I, is gonna happen yeah, because i have I to think, think about that yeah. i don't think suffering for yeah. your loved one is a woman thing right ah. maybe it's sometimes we come like, out to pain. claim oh we are the ones suffering but like men suffer too right they do, they do. and maybe they don't talk about it a yeah. lot but they do they try to man up like they say yeah. and i'm hoping they stop manning up and speaking up a lot but for this i like that you said that we need to look at the, the peculiarity of their own relationship and their kids which is why i brought it in in the first place to say that they didn't have kids they didn't have kids yeah. it's just both of them and now when you research which is why i said our dear auntie needs to research and know what this whole thing is about you understand that like you said if you don't have underlying issues that would um, put you at greater risk, yeah. Yeah. then you know this is something you can actually beat. Yeah. Yeah. By eating properly, immune booster, I, I'm not sure we'll be able to talk about the lady who survived um, because of time, but the, one of the ways she was able to survive is um, taking a lot of garlic. She listed everything that she's been taking, and most of them were just vegetables and fruits, and um, she said at the first week she had cough and sneezing, and then the second week she started getting better, and then at the third week um, she she's been tested negative right so you just need to understand what you're dealing with but for a case like this and if i were in the shoes of these two people looking at the peculiarity of their relationship of course we don't know everything but yeah. we know from the to, surface you know I don't think I would up and leave. Now, where exactly are you going to? Mm. It is yeah. a stay-at-home yeah. situation. The family you're going to meet, or the mother's place, like you mentioned, the fact that she already yeah. knew that she's yeah. been exposed yeah. to injuries, it means that also. there is a high risk yeah. or high um, possibility that she already has, has the it. virus. Yeah. Spread it. You know, so when you look at the peculiarity of their case, I don't think standing up to leave or even going to a hotel or anywhere yeah. is an option I, I i tweeted it on my page and the response i got with the conversation we were having on my twitter page was um the case of the asian guy who started taking care of his wife at home and that's why i said there's something really sick to me about your expression of love being i want to die for you except for jesus christ i don't really um I, I, I agree with that but um we've seen cases where the cop the wife was a nurse and she got and she he is quarantined he put her in a room for safety and then he's taking care of the other person and blah 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 because if this story doesn't end sweet we'll be having a different conversation mm. um so it, it, it's good to like and because we don't this is all surface conversation and we don't know them you know in total um it's understandable to have the conversation on, on the top level but i still feel like the most responsible responsible thing to do is to take care of yourself first and then um be able to take care of the, of could, the could spouse could it be the same house and s still self-quarantine yes it just happened enough. many yeah. many houses mm -hmm. to be able yeah. to okay um, um idris going to that room first of all not that you're making a video and you're like touch i don't know mm. <laughs> i don't know mm. yeah mm. restricted space where where he restricted his movement restricted mm. space yeah like then, quarantine yeah. him quickly and then do all those other things and if you see that you've been you've then are still guys already caught it then sure they go back to love you know ah oh be more <laughs> it's time for a quick break but after the short one we have just one more story to discuss Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Uh, I really like you. I 
can still make music and people are still buying. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back to Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Ogla Korilenko has recovered from coronavirus. And I think this is good news. And she was the one we were referring to just before we went on the break, saying that she took a lot of immune boosters and all that. I mean, her own situation, she even had to take care of her child. So mm -hmm. how was the isolation going to happen, right? So mm -hmm. congratulations to her. And I'm hoping that they will, this will be a source of strength and hope to people because yeah. we've recorded um, a number of deaths that has kind of hit home. The, I think he's a journalist from Zimbabwe, yeah, you know, and he's young as well. So um, the elderly man from South Africa, um, the renowned um, musician artist, I mean, we've recorded a lot of deaths. So this negative results um, after testing positive should serve as a source of hope. And, right and I think it's something that we Nigerians need to hear because my, my this is my my prophecy or what I'm seeing what happened is that we at the end of the day we would as we've always been we will have to take care of ourselves and for somebody who's done it before to then come out and give us examples of what we need to do okay, um, and it's yeah. and it's cheap things so it's really encouraging that if you do have a symptom and you're not able to get anyone on the on the toll line to give you any information just start to self um self medicate and it's not drugs or, or chloroquine that's training now she's talking about healthy things like fruits and veg and ginger yeah. and tea i mean like she said she's like also that. privileged but the doctor didn't prescribe anything they just told her to take i think she mentioned one um medication yeah but that was not really serious so yeah. she just had to isolate herself and take care of her immune so yeah um it's I encouraging think that's a good thing yeah yeah, I think everybody out there, my final word, everybody out there, just take it for yourself. Um, it's an uncertain time, but I'm, I'm, I believe that we're going to get through this. Um, we, the world has been through worse before, and so, um, but let's do, let's keep to the rules. Let's take the preventive precautionary measures we need to take to make sure we are safe ourselves. You got to look out for you first, and while you're doing it, I think about loved ones, the mm. aged ones, the children mm. around you. I know that it is our responsibility right now to keep the world around us yeah, safe. Yeah, and is don't go and greet a dear responsibility. friend. No, so don't let's do repeat that. everything again. Don't visit anyone. Stay at home if you can. Yeah. I mean, stay at home at least until the lockdown. I know some people cannot afford to stay at home. Yeah. So until then, if you don't have any reason to leave the house, please stay at home. Wash your hands. Um, I think this is hourly now. Mm. Or wash for about 20 seconds. Use hand sanitizers. Avoid touching surfaces. And when you do, don't touch your face until you have washed your hands again because the virus actually goes in from there, right? So um, eat vegetables, eat fruits, just um, live a healthy life, clean your environment as well, and just um, be safe. And I'm hoping and I'm praying and I'm believing that we will beat this as well. And that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this conversation all over again by visiting our YouTube channel, Applause TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co Ankers, Ife Omai, and Beniak, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.